Hi folks, I uh, wanted to do another video here showing a bunch of stuff I got at a couple estate sales on November 20th. Uh, all of this stuff is available on my eBay store, uh, Yardly Trading, and the link for that should be in the description. So, focusing here on this Joy of Cooking cookbook because uh, I wanted to talk about this first. Uh, brand new, I mean, you know, it was sitting on a shelf, somebody's shelf for uh, several years probably, but it looks like it's never been opened. All the corners are nice and square still. Uh, no, no significant damage or anything, so uh, I picked up this book and another cookbook, both for 50 cents each, you know, big score there. Uh, I hope I can get about $20 out of this one, The Joy of Cooking. The other one, I actually already sold overnight before I could even make this video. I listed a couple things uh, uh, last night, and the other book, which is the Pillsbury Complete Cookbook, that cookbook also paid 50 cents for it, sold it for $40 uh, overnight. So, and I actually already packed it up before I realized I should make this video. Uh, but I'll drop that, that picture here in the video. All right, uh, so some of the other things I got at this estate auction, or this estate sale. These two uh, Emerson alarm clocks, again, uh, new in box. Uh, all the packaging is in there. It looks like they've never been opened. Uh, I paid $5 a piece for each of those, but I think I can get about 30 out of them. Um, there's a couple comps in that range. Uh, they're fairly new. I don't exactly know how new, but they... You know, they, they hopefully should sell. Uh, we got this track phone here, which is a little bit older, but it's never been activated. The seals are all still in there. Uh, I think I paid a buck or two for that one. Let's see, how much was all that stuff? I don't know, I should really check my notes before I do these videos, but the, uh, yeah, the track phone, only a couple bucks. This knife sharpener here, uh... Not the $3 price here, but I paid the $2 price. Two stickers there, you know, so got it for the $2. And then these uh, food saver bags here. Uh, I opened that up. One of the rolls was opened, but I can't tell whether any bags have been used from it. So I'm going to be checking to see uh, if it's entirely new and just open box. And hopefully I can just sell it open box like that and... Uh, Maybe get, uh, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks out of the, the food saver bags. Um, all right, let me set the table and show you one more thing I picked up. All right, this is the last item that I picked up at the estate sales. Uh, a uh, Mooka Express uh, coffee maker from Bileti. Bileti? Bileti? I don't know how I say that. Um... This, uh, I it, I don't think it's new, but I do believe, and it's, it has all the packaging inside. I might try to sell it as open box. I'll have to take a, a deeper look at it. Um, but even the ones that are selling pre-owned, I should be able to get anywhere from 40 to $50 for this, plus shipping, I think, on eBay. There's a lot of comps uh, for this one, and I only paid $8 for it. So uh, I think I should be able to turn this one pretty fast. Uh... And I'm I'm really liking this one. Uh, all right, that's uh that's all the items I picked up at the estate sale. I went to only three or four uh, on that day, and uh, didn't spend a whole lot. Didn't find a whole lot, but uh, the things I did find I think should all be real good ones, uh, and I should do pretty well on them. So pretty happy about that. All right, till next time. See you later.